Oh, no, it's Mr. Lan. Poor Mimi, where does it hurt? All over, all over and everywhere, and especially my arm. I want to know who's responsible for this right now. Hmm? Hmm? Oh. Right. I'll give you until tomorrow morning to tell me just who it is. Miss Bridget, take the children upstairs. I'll take Mimi to the hospital. Elliot, if I don't pull through, I want you to do something for me. What are you talking about, Mimi? Please, I want you to give all my prettiest dresses to the poor. And I want you to destroy my diary. Without reading it first. Promise? I <gasps> promise. Farewell. She's acting like she fell on her head, not her arm. Hi. Um, could you tell me what room Mimi's in? Oh, do you mean the little girl who arrived this afternoon with her school headmaster? Yeah, her rope snapped on the north face. Uh-huh. She's in room 120, first floor. Take the stairs over there. Children are not allowed on the elevators. Thank you, miss. This is it. Well, well, well. Look who's here. Elliot and K2. Just what the doctor ordered. It's really nice of you to drop by and see Mimi. She'll be really glad to see you. You think Mimi told them? Of course not. I didn't say anything to my parents, and not to Mr. Leon either. I didn't want you to get punished. Wow. Mimi, you're too cool. Anyway, it's really great you're here. Going to x-ray me. I'm really scared. Oh, an x-ray? That's nothing. They're just going to take a look inside you. Okay, let's do that x-ray. See you later. Good luck. Uh, uh... So, okay. so, I've done all the paperwork at reception. I'm going back to school now. Your parents will come and get you in a little while. <laughs> K2, look, you see what I see? A clown! What's he doing here? Hello. I'm really glad to meet you. It's easy with kids, you know. All you have to do is make them laugh. <laughs> then they'll tell you everything you want to know. Very ingenious. My only problem is, though, I don't know how to make them laugh. Don't worry about it. That's what I'm here for. You'll soon have all the info you asked me to get. I'll know exactly what went on in that tree. Hmm. Perfect. This isn't a real hospital we're in. Oh, yeah? What do you mean? Clowns don't run things in hospitals. Doctors do. You saw them talking together. I'm sure he's in cahoots with Mr. Leon. That clown's gonna make Mimi laugh, and... And she'll go and tell him that we were in the tree with her. Oh, no! I'll tell you one thing. You won't see me going to the circus anymore. Come on. We've got to find Mimi. Okay. So what you do is you go into this cubicle and take off your shoes. I'll come and get you in just a minute for your x-ray. We haven't got a second to lose. Ah, okay, go ahead. I'll be right behind you. Ah! Oh, there's somebody in here! Mimi, it's us! Ah! Oh, you scared me! You gotta get out of here right away! We're all in danger! Oh, yeah? Why? Anyway, uh, I can't. I haven't got any shoes on. Miss, ready for your x-ray? Mimi! Miss? Uh. Come on, come in. Uh. Hi there. <laughs> but, but who is this pretty little girl? Hi there. What's your name? Mimi. Mimi, Mimi, that's a cute name. My name is Mr. Falldown. You know, Mimi, you shouldn't be frightened about having an x-ray. It doesn't hurt at all. But tell me something. How did you manage to hurt yourself like that? Well, actually...
actually, Mr. Cloud, we were playing and... <laughs> now tell me the truth, Mimi. You know I can find out all your secrets. Well, what happened was we climbed up and... No, Mimi, don't say a word. You lose, fall down. You won't get anything out of her. <laughs> you thought you could outsmart me? Even if Mimi doesn't talk, I'll know the whole story. Thanks to the x-rays. <laughs> 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 you two have no business being in here. Leave this room right now. Want me to go out with your kids? Don't you come near me. Mimi, hang in there. Don't say a word. But, Elliot! Those are Mimi's x-rays. The clown's right, Elliot. If that machine can read bones, it can read thoughts as well. That's exactly why we have to get hold of them. Let me know if somebody's coming. Huh? Hello, Mr. Clown. I'm Anthony's X-Ray. Anthony hates school and loves candy. Yesterday, he forgot to brush his teeth. Hello, Mr. Clown. I'm Shorty's X-Ray. He just loves peanuts. This afternoon, Mimi was playing in a tree. I'm he Shorty's X-Ray. Loves peanuts. Clown. Mimi loves cherry gum. Now that we've got the X-Ray, we've got to get rid of that clown and set Mimi free. How are we going to get rid of that clown? He's really big. He's big. There's just one of him, and there's two of us. And the two of us can save all mankind. Don't pull that face. I'm kidding. <laughs> the clown's going to get another kid to talk. We got to act fast. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Mr. Clown, sir, you, you gotta come right away. What? You again? What's going on? It's urgent. There's a little boy who's really sad. Huh? Where? Now we've gotta set Mimi free. Oh. Mimi, you didn't say anything to anybody, did you? Oh, nobody. What's going on, Elliot? No time to explain now. We gotta get out of here as fast as we can. Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> ah! Only when I laugh, Charity is an amazing organization, you know. I can't wait to see them in action. By the way, I think my son is here. A friend from school had a little accident. Oh, yes. The little girl who fell out of the tree. She's right here on this floor. Now I just hope we can manage to get hold of our cloud. Help! Did you hear that? If they find that clown locked up, we've had it. Let me out! There you are. We were just wondering where you were. Uh, does he usually hide in a cupboard? It's those two! Elliot? They're the ones who shut me in there! Ah! Oh, can we shout now? Mom, that clown is mean. He goes and tells Mr. Leon everything we do. What's going on here? It really was a great pleasure to see you at work. Keep it up. What you do for the children is just great. I hope you're not too angry with my son. He has such an overactive imagination. <laughs> no problem at all. So how about telling me what happened at school today? We were playing at mountain climbing in the tree and I dropped Mimi. It wasn't his fault. It was me that let go. Actually, it was my idea in the first place. I think the best thing to do would be to tell Mr. Leon everything. Okay. We'll tell him everything. Hey, kids, wait up! We didn't shake hands and... <laughs> <laughs> oh. 